Starting with a circle, we're going to give it 12 vertices. Go to the side view, extrude all the faces up, create some loop cuts, select the center row of faces, and with proportional editing, scale them outwards. Next, select the edges with Control Alt left click. Go up to Mesh, Split Faces by Edges. This separates them into individual panels. We'll add a Solidify modifier. Here you can edit the thicknesses to where you like. This is for the side planks. We'll add a Bevel modifier to give the edges a nice soft edge, then making it smooth shading. Adjusting the values to get something that we like. Now we'll create another circle. We'll drag it out, move it up to where we want it. This is going to be for metal strapping around the barrel. So we're just going to edit it a bit to correct to get the correct shape. We'll duplicate it, move it up to the top, smooth shade them, adding faces on the insides, combining the two, and then add a bevel modifier. The same as we did with the planks, adjusting it to get a similar look. In edit mode, grab a face, duplicate it, then separate it by selection. Go out and then select it, move it up. This is going to be the top face of the barrel. Now we're going to duplicate that, take it down to the bottom, scale it on the Z axis by negative one to flip the face. Let's fix the gaps between these side panels. Change the pivot point to individual origins, then scale with shift Z. So it's only on the X and Y axis and drag it out to where you like and just make minor adjustments on the other parts. Now, before we color it, we'll apply the modifiers. So we're just selecting everything and apply all. Rename it. And now let's add some materials. Selecting the areas that you want with L and then assigning that material to that area, changing the colors and then control I to invert the selected and then assign the materials to that. And then you can change it quickly and effectively and just adjust the colors to get what you want. Done.